minutes since I last sat down and filmed a video for you guys. I am so sorry that I've not been able to commit to any videos or anything like that on YouTube pretty much since before lockdown. But I'm not going to lie, lockdown just hit me and I just decided to do other things with it um, instead. So the first half of the lockdown, I pretty much just uh, finished off doing my COPD course which I have now passed which I'm super super happy about and then the rest of it um, I really just spent it doing nothing uh, binge watching telly binge eating um, and just really enjoying the time and realizing what you know what kind of situation we're in so I've really just not been in the headspace to uh, really film anything or anything like that especially towards the beginning of lockdown I didn't really want to be ordering stuff um, I appreciate everyone's got different opinions on it and um, I suppose there is no right and wrong in it but I personally I didn't think it was essential for me to um, be buying stuff or ordering things or going out necessarily to be able to film for you guys so I let that bl uh, blow over and once things started easing up a bit then obviously I have started ordering things and since the opening of the shops I have been out uh, which has been great and that has brought me to this video which I'm so so happy about so this video is none other than a lovely Primark haul I just thought I'd go in there and have a look at um, what they've got in, see if I can grab anything new as I don't really have uh, many summery clothes or even spring clothes um, and I needed a few bits for the house as well so I'd watched a couple of videos and I was like oh I quite like that and I quite like that so I thought I need to go in there and have a look for myself and hopefully I can come away with some good bits. I'm now going to be trying them on for you and see what I think so I'm hoping the bits are not going to disappoint me. This has been a really long introduction so let's start and let's get right into it. So I'm going to start with uh, shoes uh, as I did uh, buy three pairs of shoes. The first pair that I picked up are these white canvas sort of slip on shoes these are really cute they just got some sort of um flowers embroidered on them and i uh, just thought that they'd be really easy to just sort of chuck on um you know and would probably go nice with any outfit maybe a nice little uh summery dress or even just with some denim shorts or jeans i think that you know you can't go wrong with white and i think these would just be really nice uh for the summer so these were four pounds which i think is really really good for these obviously i don't know how long they'll last um but i will let you know but I'm really really happy with these I really really like them and I can't wait to wear them so sticking with shoes these are the next ones that I've bought so these are just some nice short wedges and they are a nice kind of brown um, tan colour and the material on the uh, front toes and the straps are both suede um, but I thought these again would something that would be a staple really in the summer that perhaps would go with a lot of things as obviously uh, brown is also a really safe choice at times and you can never go wrong with a pair of wedges really it's something that you can uh, redress up or you can also keep casual but would be really good for those nice sort of hot days when you're doing stuff or even to go on holiday with uh, now that we can start going on holiday so um um, yeah I picked up these and again these are also quite true to size the price of these was actually £10 so mm, I don't think that's that bad you'd probably pay a lot more for other brands uh, you know if you went to sort of Marks and Spencer's Debenhams or even sort of Zara and Topshop anything like this would probably cost more than £10 so I don't think it's that bad moving on the next thing that I bought from Primark is this lovely uh, white linen I think it's kind of like a linen in material that's what it feels like kind of blouse it's a three-quarter length sleeve and it's kind of like a v-neck shape here and just some buttons it is slightly longer at the back and it's just something just looks like a really nice casual um, blouse shirt whatever you want to call it it's got a little pocket there as well which is really nice and yeah as I say I've got a bit of an obsession with white and linen and these sort of clothings at the moment so when I saw it I couldn't leave it behind I had to pick it up so um, this is um, eight pounds is what I paid for this and I got it in a size 12 so uh, I'm gonna try it on now for you guys to see so this is the white blouse and I'm actually wearing the Primark bra and obviously I didn't realise but it is this 
blouse is actually quite see-through uh, and as you can see what's popping through the most as well is the white bra um so i'm not sure whether perhaps if i had a different bra on it would be okay but with this one it does come through quite a bit and it is super lightweight which is probably why it's so kind of um see-through and of course it's got the little pocket there um i love the sort of v-neck look to this top so it is actually a really nice blouse it's just a shame that it's so kind of see-through and the next thing that i have picked up is again <laughs> white can you be surprised um is this white um dress I'm not really sure what you'd call it, but it is just, I'd say it's about knee length or just above the knee. And it's just got some nice kind of flowers um, embroidered onto them. It's just a really nice kind of uh, floaty dress. And this was £15. And again, I bought this in a size 12 as well. So this is the white dress. And I'm sure one of the first things you can notice is the bra because it keeps popping through everywhere. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, but I really can just notice it. But the next thing you're probably noticing is how squished this all is. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. Maybe if I turn that way, there we go. <laughs> um, this is really, really squished, which is really annoying because it doesn't feel tight on my back and obviously the dress is quite flowy as well so i think if i was to go up a bigger size this would be too baggy to the point where it just wouldn't look as nice anymore um so i'm really disappointed because i actually really really like the dress um it's got that slight problem that it is a tiny tiny bit see-through i think you definitely have to probably be careful with what underwear you are wearing um but oh i just it's a really nice dress so I'm not contemplating it do I go with squished boobs <laughs> because it's really nice I think it's quite other than the top half I think it's quite flattering uh, I love the color of it I love the style of it it's flowy it's lightweight um I like the sleeves it's got kind of like an elasticated bit around there so it really um wraps around your arms um but yeah I really really like it and I am um, wearing it with the white shoes um that i showed you guys earlier i think it looks really really nice um so i haven't got everything set up properly so i can't quite show you full length i need to work on that really once i get my mirror i'll be able to um but yeah i'm just wearing these shoes with them and i think it looks so nice and i really like the dress um i guess i could risk it and try and exchange it for the 14 and um see if the 14 is any better without it being too baggy but i don't think when you see it it is really squished i don't think it would be good i don't know what do you think is it too is it too tight is it not right it is a really beautiful dress though it is really nice i think it's it's lovely i really like it and moving on the next thing that i have bought is this white um kind of halter would you call that a halter neck? Yeah, halter neck bodysuit. So it's just like that. And it's got some uh, poppers there um, for where you do it up. And it's just plain and simple. So I've got this in a size medium and it was £5. So not bad at all really. So I think this would look really, really nice with um, really some sort of perhaps some denim shorts to go with it or even some jeans or even a skirt. It's just so versatile. Um, obviously it's white, you can wear it with anything. It hasn't got sleeves so it's great for spring and summer. You can chuck on a light cardigan or even a heavy cardigan if it's a little bit cold but still sort of feel that you can control your temperature and most of all look really, really good in this. So I am really excited. I have a feeling this would be kind of like a staple um, in my wardrobe for this season. So I'm really excited to try this on. So this is the white bodysuit. And before you say anything, I wouldn't usually wear a bra with a bodysuit because they tend to be quite supportive. But this is so see-through, it's unreal. Um I did try and put the nipple covers on it, but of course, because it's so th see through, you can just see some pink nipple covers on them. And there was really no other way for me to show you um, this. So I can't wear it without a bra. I can't wear it with nipple covers. And I can't wear it with a white bra either, because one, the white bra obviously comes through loads. 
but this is actually so see-through uh, I mean I'm not sure how well you can see that on camera now because of the lighting but it is super super see-through you can literally see absolutely everything um, which is a really shame because the material of it feels so nice. It's really, really soft. I thought this was going to be amazing. I think if it wasn't see-through, wow, this would be amazing for the price, for the way that it feels. Um, it's not ribbed because I'm not a huge, huge fan of ribbed um, bodysuits. But this is would have been great. It, it's just way too see-through. Then I have picked these trousers up. Um, I've really picked them up mainly uh, for work as I haven't really got a huge um, summer selection for work. I've mainly just got skirts and dresses and you don't always feel like wearing a skirt or a dress for work. So um, I thought I'd pick up these trousers and see if they would be, um, if they'd suit me. I'm not really sure uh, how well they'll fit and whether they'll actually suit me or not. So I've picked these up and I picked them up in a size 12 and these were £13. So... Um, again, I think it would look really nice perhaps with like a white blouse or a white shirt. These are really versatile, it's a really nice colour, a colour that's really popular at the moment as well. So I think these would go well with a lot of things. So um, hopefully they'll fit me well. I really don't like them, they're not flattering on me at all. I don't realise but they're not skinny leg fit either, so they kind of just flare at the bottom at your ankles. And it's just not flattering, I don't know whether I need to perhaps size up a little bit. And I just don't think it's flattering. I love the colour, but it's just not flattering at all. That's at least you can see what these are like, maybe it's something that you are looking for. Um, but yeah, these are going back unfortunately. <laughs> so moving on, I have purchased something a little bit different. I got a little bit carried away when I saw it and I was like, oh, it looks beautiful. I have no holidays booked, but literally this is where I saw me wearing it and I was like, I have to take it. I know I've got no holidays booked, but I have to take it. So it is this sheer lace kimono it is absolutely beautiful and it's just got some flower detailing and some um really really nice detailing sort of all along uh, the sleeves and sort of on these bits as well and of course it's uh it, they are long sleeves the sleeves flare up towards um the bottom of them and it's also got some uh, a string so that you can pull it in at the waist and hopefully make it look even more flattering so it is absolutely gorgeous obviously everyone has different tastes but i literally love this and fell in love with it as soon as i saw it so i had to buy it and hopefully keep it for when we next go on holiday or even when we've got some really really nice hot weather i think again this is something that would perhaps look really nice with perhaps that white bodysuit that I've got and some denim short, this on top, some nice white shoes or some sandals, some wedges. I think it would look really, really, really nice. So um, I bought this in a medium and it was £12, which I think is actually really, really good for a, a kimono of this style. Uh, I have seen kind of similar styles in other uh, websites um, and they are much more expensive on there. So I'm really, really excited to try this on. Hopefully it'll be a good fit. I think this is super, super cute. I love the detailing on there. And the sleeves. It's actually a really nice fit. It's not too tight and it's, um, well, it's not tight at all. And it's not very, it's not like baggy. I think it's a really nice fit that you feel really flowy. It's a really nice length. And it's just super super cute i think it would look really nice on holiday or again in a really sort of summer summery hot day i think this is really nice really flattering really girly and uh, super cheap as well so yeah i'm really happy with this all right so Moving on, I have bought some pyjamas. You can't go to Primark and not come away without any pyjamas, but it's just not how Primark works. I was actually looking in there for something a little bit different as I do need some new, uh, more normal pyjamas, but what I did realise, especially as we had this heatwave sort of last week, is that I have nothing that's 
lightweight or anything that I can wear when it's really really hot so um, I literally went in there with the purpose of just getting something that's more lightweight something that it's not gonna make me boil when it's really hot outside or hot indoors because the houses get really hot as well the only ones I found that I really, really like because the other ones had some different kind of prints again was this white cami I guess you could call it a cami so I have already worn these because it has been really hot um, the last couple of days and I just couldn't wait any longer knowing I have these. This is so comfortable, it fits really really well. I got this in a size medium and this was £6. So it has adjustable straps so you can adjust them, you can make them as tight or as loose as you want. Um, it's obviously got the lace detailing around sort of the uh, breast area which is really nice and um, it's elasticated at the back as well so, um, so you've got quite a lot of flexibility there's nothing worse sometimes than having some like really nice pyjamas on but they're really restrictive and you think oh my god if I do anything else these are going to rip um, these definitely don't feel like that it's a really really good fit I also bought the matching shorts that go with them again these were also £6 and I also got this in a medium the fit again is really really good um, it fits nicely it's not baggy it's it's loose it's not tight around the waist at all because obviously my tummy is much bigger than my hips unfortunately I am trying to sort that out but I'm sure we've all put on some weight during lockdown so yeah but it's not tight it's not uncomfortable and it's not too short either so these are the, sh are the shorts again in the exact same kind of detailing as the cami so it's just got their lace bits down here which actually has some rose gold in them as well you probably can't see it too well in the camera perhaps but it has got some rose gold detailing all a, all along the lace and again it's just got an elasticated back and that is it there's nothing to tie them but they are they stay up there they're very secure but it doesn't stop there I did also pick up the matching kind of dressing gown to go with it the only other dressing gown I've got is a black fluffy dressing gown which um obviously gets really hot and I do pretty much put it away from here on out unless it gets cold but you know what it's like sometimes when you're walking around the house or whatever you just sometimes want to chuck a little something on especially if you know if you're at home and the postman comes or you know somebody comes around and announce or whatever I think it's I love a dressing gown I prefer to just have one so I bought the matching one I've literally never owned anything like this such a like a lightweight cardigan and so it's a short kind of sleeve, I guess you'd probably call it a three quarter length uh, sleeve. And again, it's got the lace detailing on the sleeves. And it's got, I think, yeah, it's got a pocket either side and then obviously something to tie it with. And it is just so nice. I really, really like it. Um, I have been wearing it, I'm loving it. And yeah, I'm really pleased. I also bought this in a medium, and again, it's a really, really good size. Um, it's not tight, there's plenty of room, and of course, because you can tie it, it doesn't really matter, but I find it's a really, really good fit. And this was £12, which I don't think was that bad at all. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Sticking with underwear, I did buy your normal kind of pants from there. Um, again, I think it's one of those things that you can't leave Primark without. So I just bought a pack of um, just Brazilian and my go-to in there. So I normally get these, whatever sort of colours they've got on there. And so you get three for five pounds, and I think that's quite good. Um, so yeah, I find that these are really comfortable. Uh, some of mine are getting a little bit old and I need to get some anyway. So yeah, I always get these um, three for five pounds in a medium and they're really, really good and last a really, really long time as well. So really happy with those. So the next thing that I purchased is this multi-way um, white bra. And um, I bought this as I was actually looking for a strapless bra and I came across this one and I thought it would be really, really useful. So I purchased it. So um, along the back here, it tells you all the different ways that you can adjust the straps to get these looks to obviously go with your look and your outfit, depending on what you're wearing it. So you can wear it as a halter neck, racer back, strapless, etc. So I just thought that this would be really, really good. It is a balconette styled bra and it just looks like it would be really supportive or st uh, strong as it does have a wide back strap and I bought this in a 36 double D and I have already tried it on to make sure that it would be the appropriate sizing. I think it's a tiny little bit small but maybe it just
just need some more adjusting on the straps and um, it should be okay. And the price of this is £6. So altogether, it's really, really good price for a bra like this. As I know you can get like the Wonder Bras and other bras really that do sort of the same thing for upwards of like £30. So really, really good price. The only thing I would say, and I find that a lot with the Primark uh, white bras, is that they come through everything. Um, so I really need to just double check that actually I'm going to get away with wearing it. Um, because for wearing it on any other sort of just like your more basic kind of tops etc. It just kind of just flashes through. All you can see is that you're wearing a super super white bra um, under your clothing. And I, fa I found that with a lot of the white Primark bras. So I just need to double check really whether I am going to keep it. Um, which is a bit of a shame because it is really supportive. And I love the fact that you can do so much with it. And wear it in for every occasion because of the adjustable straps and what they can do. So I, yeah I really need to just double check. But Overall, I think it's a really, really good price for the bra. Okay, and then doing the last kind of clothing bits, I have picked up some basic vests. Um, I've picked up two in white and two in black as um, the ones that I literally live in vests whether I wear them under my clothes or really just wear them as sort of the main top and then perhaps just some jeans or some shorts over the top um, I just find them really versatile and you can wear them in any way um, so I've just bought um, two as I said two in white and two in black as um, some of my need replacing these are £1.80 each and I got them in a size medium which is a really really good size size um, so these have just got adjustable straps so that you can wear them as loose or as tight as you want um, to obviously get the desired look that you're looking for and these are just the standard kind of um, vest length as I do know that at Primark do sell longer kind of vests so that is it for clothing and I've only bought a couple of homeware bits just because uh, if anyone lives in Norwich um, or nearby you'll see you'll know that our Primark is it's big but it's it's almost like there's not that much in there and specifically the home section it is like half of a floor um but considering all the floors have got like a middle bit um out of it it takes a lot of room it, pretty much there's not a lot of home stuff in Primark which is gutting because I do really like their home stuff I tend to always find something in there but ours is a little bit more limited because it's got less things in there but one of the first things that I picked up is I've been looking for some of these to go in my filming room um, I am going to be changing up my filming room or should I say really finishing off completing it you don't want to see what it looks like now literally well in front of me is literally mess I've just got cardboard boxes everywhere um, parcels all the new stuff that we've ordered to sort of uh, transform this room it's all there re uh, waiting for next weekend it was really the only time that we could do it as we've been quite busy with a few things lately so um, I am going to be transforming this room very soon and I am going to be filming it for you so that you can see how I've done it and then I'll probably hopefully talk you through sort of my equipment and how I set up my room. So anyway, bl uh, blabbing on too much. So I have actually bought some candle holders which I'll be showing you uh, in the uh, video when I transform the room and I needed some candles to go on, uh, on top of them. Now I didn't really want anything fancy, I just wanted some candles really mainly for the effect and so I came across these in Primark. Uh, I believe they have like two or three different sizes, so some are taller than the others. More or less the same width, but some are taller. And these are literally a pound each. They are literally just unscented candles and they fit perfectly on my candle holders that was one of the things I couldn't wait to come home and just make sure that they fit on because it's been actually quite hard to just find some plain unscented ones um, that that would fit so luckily these did and they were only a pound each so I've grabbed two I do have three candle holders but I think I'm only going to use two so I've only bought two for the time being and these are them so I'm really excited to see what kind of vibe these give out once I do the room so if you're looking for anything like this pop to Primark they're a pound each and then lastly the last thing that I bought are these three soft white baskets they're uh, called paper rope baskets and they were seven pounds so you get three of them so you get this bigger one and then the two smaller ones uh, on the inside and pretty much what I wanted is to really just check that actually they're gonna fit in my drawers 
So I'm thinking of either using them in my drawers here in this room or in my spare room so that I can um, just neatly sort of um, organise and tidy up my products. Now I do have some um, organisers that I brought from Ikea in my room but they are actually quite tall so it's quite, kind of awkward to get in and get my stuff and it doesn't look as good as I thought it would be and it's not as helpful as I thought I would be. So I thought I'd try and give these a, a try and see whether they are any better. They do look like they're be slightly shorter than the Ikea ones so hopefully they will work but they're just like a nice white kind of a little bit ivory coloured actually they're not a pure white I wouldn't have said or maybe it's just my eyes um but yeah these are it so you get two of these and then you get the um bigger one uh, like so and yeah they were seven pounds I'm excited to give these a try and see what I can do with them but I thought they were quite good for seven pounds for something sort of as pretty as these i think i'm sure i'll be able to find somewhere to put them so then that concludes today's video i really hope you've enjoyed this primark haul and i hope you've enjoyed sort of the bits and pieces that i have purchased so hopefully i will be seeing you guys very very soon i am going to try and stick to a schedule of uploading once a week hopefully either a thursday or a sunday but I'm feeling like a, me again and I feel like I can finally start to upload again so um, please keep an eye out if you haven't subscribed already please do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything else that's to come and do give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it I really really appreciate your support and I'll see you next week bye